Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. In today's video, I wanted to share with you how to frame out a window opening. So stick around. Okay, so just to preface this really quick, I did this project about three months ago. So you're gonna notice maybe some winter time decoration in the beginning and at the end, you won't see it. Um, and that's just because it took this long to make this video. But basically, this is a project that you could do on your window that's actually a real window. But in this video, I'm actually doing it in a window opening that's in our house. And it was just plain, it was drab, it needed a little bit of something to kind of make it a showpiece. And so my wife had this brilliant idea of putting this frame around it, and that's what this video is all about. We're gonna jump right into it and just go ahead at it, just sit back and enjoy. So to begin this project, the very first thing that you need to do is to have a plan, um, to have some sort of sketch or something that just shows you what you wanted to do. And in this case, we wanted to go with more of a federal style. Um, it kind of blends in with the farmhouse appeal that my wife is really into. So for all of the boards around this uh, window frame, I decided to stick with just uh, some plain pine that you can buy from Lowe's or Home Depot. I've got this on sale a long time ago. It's been in my shop for a long time, so it's uh, been put to good use today. And one thing to note, uh, obviously this is a DIY, but you see me using a lot of tools such as table saws, miter saws, air nails, all these things that you may not have as a DIYer. So what I would encourage is on the frame that you decide to do, you can buy lumber that is already the width that is pretty approximate to the width that you might want. Um, so for instance, my boards on the left and right are actually the standard width that came, they came. I didn't tr trim those down at all. I did trim this board down, but you can buy this board um, already cut that length and already ready to be used. So just keep in mind, you don't need any fancy tools in order to do this. As a matter of fact, right now I'm using the coping saw just to show you that you can do all of this without uh, these big massive power tools. Now I ran into a little bit of an issue with the top. I wanted it to be really wide so I had a piece of poplar laying around in my shop to make this work and once again you can still use the same pine that is already cut to the width that you need it or want it. Um, I just wanted to go a little bit more custom on this one. Now I, you may be noticing I'll use all these clamps to hold them in place and that's not really just for me to know measurements. It's also to give my wife a visual. She's a very visual person so if you have a spouse that's a very visual person this would be a very handy tip to do so that they can see what it's going to end up looking like in the long run and once again i'm starting to use the air nailer now and by all means you don't have to use an air nailer you can use finishing nails with a hammer and a finishing nail set to make this look just as good as the way i'm doing it with air nailer and all that's left is to fill up these nail holes with some wood putty and to then paint it later on. And there we have it, all done about three months later, painted white and um, looking so nice. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. If you are too, please hit that like button and also please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. So thank you for watching this video. See you next time right here in the workshop. 